hi guys very good morning so here I'm going to talk about three poison pills yes I call it as poison pills because people actually think these three might contribute for success as nowadays I've seen I'm like I'm coming across I'm coming across so many mentorship programs like so many like so many mentorship programs are uh, you know were becoming very popular and uh, they are being uh, circulating across all social media channels so a so mentorship program is available where you the qualification chances are 99% something and another another one big you know poison pill is chat book which many students you know fall for like where uh, the students run behind chat books of many faculties that is another poison pill and another one is faster classes fine let me talk about one by one issue <clears throat> see really mentorship is a very good thing if at all it is done with a non-profit motive if mentorship program mentor see I can be a mentor only with non-profit motive mentoring is such a great activity once upon a time we have this system called uh, uh, Gurukul system we have a system called Gurukul system which uh, which exactly describes mentorship now in the market whatever I find whatever mentorship institutions which I know none of them work really for changing your life okay see by reading various books finding out fancy words using that fancy words fancy techniques that and all you know doesn't contribute to the success of the student you may you may you may ask me sir like many of my friends or few of my friends one or two of my friends after attending mentorship they would have qualified yes they have qualified probably after attending mentorship but not due to mentorship but not due to mentorship example example I many a times admire this fact like some students message me after watching my marathon classes sir because of your marathon I qualified sometimes no depending upon how student texted me I can understand how far really my marathon helped him sometimes I can understand it is not my marathon it is because of his original preparation where my marathon has added just 5 to 10 percent booster you know it's like a booster dose and that is the reason why he qualified and not based on my marathon the programs whatever the students are taking up is only ancillary is only a supportive thing for their main preparation ultimately 99% of the contributing factor for your success 99% contributor contributory factor for your success is your original preparation if you regularly honestly consistently prepare you obviously will qualify what is most important not only in CA or any 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 aspects of your life in order to be successful what is most important principle is consistency consistency is the most important principle so don't run behind mentorship thinking that you will qualify because of that no never okay and 99% of the mentorship programs which I witnessed which I came across they are absolutely wrong they are absolutely bad you know uh, giving you a morning wake up call okay shouting at you I mean like with a positive notes okay uh, you know giving a, a sort of artificial feelings to you you know that is not mentorship that is not you know mentorship is like igniting the light once you ignite the light on a candle do you need to look at the candle every time no need you know it will you know it will show that light to everything else it will take up that light on its own mentorship should be in such a way it should be as short as possible we should know how to ignite the light if at all I will ignite light every day I will ignite the light every hour then that is not a right mentorship at all very simple then coming to the second issue which every student nowadays you know even in my CA final I'm having close to 300 students in the CA final you know like some of them have asked me while joining with the classes for the classes so do you provide chat book in fact for majority of them I replied saying I don't provide chat book 
if you want to buy go and buy somebody else who is giving chart book i am not a kind of chart book person you know preparing chart book takes how much time you know hardly 100 hours if you are skillful person if you are skilled person it hardly takes 100 hours for preparing chart book for a subject like advanced auditing at ca final but still i don't do that because chart book gives you information not analysis whereas in examination what is tested in major parties analysis not information especially in a subject like audit and law where the examiner is testing you is on the analysis part not on the information part maybe taxation subject chart book might help to some extent for sure i don't deny that fact even for indirect taxes it is helpful because taxation subject is something purely based on information and of course analysis is also there it's a combination of information plus analysis which is being tested but whereas audit and law even a subject like fr what is being tested is mostly your analytical part mostly your analysis mostly your logical part which you cannot gain through the chart book many students you can you can find any student uh, you know who studied not from the chart book day before exam but from the original book from the day before exam who prepared from original book who revised from original book day before exam for him the success rate is very high than the student who revised from chart book you know i'll tell you one natural instinct of your mind you know we have a natural capability each and every one of you are having a natural you know skill that i mean a natural skill is that that is you can filter information even if i give you 1000 pages book what is chart book essentially a book which is having 1000 pages that content is summarized to a 70 or 100 or 150 pages that is what the chart book right but you know what you are having an inbuilt inbuilt summarization you know a device you are having an instinct your natural instincts will work on summarizing the information suppose you read one one book thoroughly thoroughly you read once while original while you are preparing for the first time originally later when you are revising you naturally eliminate the points which you are already familiar with you naturally eliminate it you don't require a separate explicit elimination you naturally eliminate the moment you came across some two points you felt you know it by the time you start reading you know it you naturally ignore and come to the sixth point or seventh point when your mind is working already instinctively to filter the information which is given in 1000 pages you are already filtering 800 pages content when you are reading you are already filtering it you are only reading 200 pages content effectively it's already there in your natural instinct only that the chart books are now because is being circulated marketed thoroughly you are being attracted you are being diverted earlier when we are preparing we don't have all this We, we never have we never heard this word called mentorship earlier we never heard chart books fast track classes okay to some extent we heard but not as as available as today so chart books is not required for many subjects maybe for taxation yes it will be helpful for other subjects you prepare a, you prepare when you are listening to the classes you prepare a short notes if possible that will help you or suppose if you take myself for ca final i'm giving a notes called smart notes it is not as short as you know chart book but it is not as lengthy as a main original book it is a cut short sentences cut short sentences wherever full sentence is required we use full sentence wherever sentences can be skipped we skip the sentence concept we can summarize not the entire content so chart books this is what my take on that and coming to the fast track classes like many students are preferring fast track classes for original coaching you remember you are taking coaching classes because you are not having confidence on your own method of preparation that is a primary reason why we prefer coaching classes first of all ca is a course designed for self preparation yes it might sound a bit uh, undoubtful i'm bit doubtful but ca is a course which is actually designed for original self preparation 
not for coaching method. Even our ICS study materials are made in such a way that you have to prepare on your own. In I mean, it's such how I mean uh, that's how it is designed. But what what students are doing? They're preferring coaching. Fine, when you prefer coaching instead of following self preparation method or instead of following self preparation technique, what you have to do? You have to go for a regular method. Why? Because you decided to ignore self preparation method and go for coaching method. Either do any of this perfectly. If you want to prepare on your own, happily prepare on your own. Don't look at any classes at all. But if you're looking at classes, don't look for shortcuts in that. What will happen in fast track classes is you will get again here information. In fast track classes, we can't transmit much of analysis. In fast track classes, much of analysis cannot be discussed. Only information will be discussed, not the analysis. Now, by just looking at that information, just by listening to that information, think how much you are going to get, how far you are going to benefit. So, if you are planning for the first time, listening to the classes, take regular course itself. It may be any faculty of your choice, but take only regular course, not fast track in that. Fast track classes will be helpful only for those who already have an idea of the entire subject. They already gone through entire subject. They gave one reading. They just want to listen once again at a speed, faster rate. That is why fast track classes is required. And one more thing I'll tell you what. Fast track classes today is outdated. Why? Because in YouTube you are finding marathons of every subject. What is a marathon? Only name differs, man. Only a name differs. It is nothing but a fast track class only, no? Entire subject is given in 20 hours. So that is a type of fast track class only, no? Suppose if a subject is 150 hours originally, example, and uh, crash course is somewhere around 90 hours, marathons are somewhere about 25 to 30 hours. Many faculties are giving for each subject 20, 25 or 30 hours. Now, in between, if student is asking me faster class, I have a business opportunity. Why should I miss? I will bring 35 hours course. Tell me. Between 20, 30 hours, whatever I'm giving free of cost in my YouTube channel. If you ask me a fast track, I'll add 10 more hours content to it and sell it to you. That is my business technique. Tell me which one you want. You want a fast track class where only 10 hours incremental video is there or you want a marathon which is freely available. So, fast track classes are as equal to marathons which are freely available across many YouTube channels of many faculties. So, there is no point in getting fast track classes. If you want to get any classes, go always with regular method. Go always with regular method. That is always best. And when you are listening to the classes also, I told you, listen only at standard speed. The reason why you are listening to the classes is not to finish them, but to learn something out of them. By listening to the classes, it is your original preparation. First time when you are listening to the classes, you are not just listening something. You are listening the subject. You are listening the analysis. You are listening the conclusions. You are listening the entire subject. That itself is your first preparation. And after listening to all the classes, revise once and check it out how uh, you know uh, ch check out how better you are after coaching so this this is what my take on all these three aspects one is mentorship and chat books and faster classes and my final bottom line of this video don't find shortcuts if you find shortcut and became successful that success will be very 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 short term remember you are, you are doing CA or CMA or company secretary or IAS or any other course, whatever it might be. If you primarily aim to qualify only exam, somehow I have to qualify exam. I want a shortcut. I want some pill, a dose. And if you get that and become qualified, later you have to struggle a lot later you have to struggle a lot you know the first the first incident where you where you will struggle interview itself even in today or uh, in the recent ICA campus selections and all if you take if 300 400 students attend hardly how many are being selected 25 or 30 okay only those who are having skill set or being selected how do you think that skills will you know inculcate in you how do you think i mean how do the skills will inculcate in you how do you grow up your skills only by a proper learning you must need endurance 
okay you must need patience don't don't try for shortcuts only those who are looking for shortcuts want all this if you don't want to look, see there is nothing such thing called shortcut means opposite is hard work no i'm not saying that there is nothing such thing called hard work you know the word hard work first of all we are all, we are all not supposed to use it hard work is something which is extremely difficult thing what google ceo is doing is hard work what facebook ceo is doing hard work what big big people are doing is hard work actually compared to what you and me are doing we are not doing any hard work what i'm saying is i'm not asking you to do hard work i'm asking you to avoid shortcuts that's it so thank you uh, i hope i added certain valuable inputs yeah carry on